Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about smart teddy bears held ransom. Today's story comes from an article from Motherboard as well as some research from a guy named Troy Hunt who follows a lot of password database breaches. According to both these sources, a smart uh, cloud pet toy, which is sold by a particular company, recently had the database associated with that toy hijacked and stolen, and people are both sharing it on the underground and in some cases trying to hold it ransom uh, by deleting the original database to uh, ask the company for money if they want to get it back. In this database are hashed passwords for 800,000 Cloud Pet customers, as well as other information. There's also a possibility that bad guys can get Get access to a AWS URL where you can actually hear the messages on these cloud pets. These, these cloud pets are designed so that parents can leave audio messages for their kids that the kids can of course listen to with the pet itself. But now all those messages may be exposed to everybody in the world. As far as the password leak goes, by the way, the good news is this particular company did store their hashes as something called a bcrypt hash. And do know bcrypt is actually one of the harder hashing algorithms to brute force. That said, if you have a short password, like a six to eight digit password, it is still possible to brute force bcrypt passwords. And according to Troy Hunt, the person that follows all these uh, database leaks, some of those passwords are crackable. So some of those 800,000 customers do have to worry about this. In any case, it's an interesting story. In a past video, I talked about insecure MongoDB installations and basically attack Hackers have actually been using tools like Shodan and other internet scanning tools to find these easily accessible MongoDB databases. And this was just one of the many companies that had a wide open database for these bad guys to steal. So what should you learn from this? Well, first of all, if you're some sort of e-commerce company that has a website with a database and you're using MongoDB, you better go check out some links on how you can actually harden and secure your database. And of course, advice for people that are customers of cloud pets, if you happen to be a parent with a cloud pet, you definitely want to change your password. And if that happens to be the same password you're using at other sites, you definitely need to change that as well. Anyways, I thought it was a very interesting story. And it's also interesting that one hacker happens to be trying to ransom off this stolen data. Now, by the way, this little pet I have here is WatchGuard's Ransom Bear. And it's actually associated with one of our new products, Threat Detection and Response. One of the features features of this product is something called host ransomware prevention. WatchGuard has lots of features in our network security appliance that can prevent ransomware from getting on your computer. But in the worst case, if you do get ransomware on your computer, threat detection response can detect it and prevent it before it actually encrypts your file. So it's a pretty cool product. If you want to know more about ransomware and this TDR product, be sure to check out our video, which I'll link to in the blog post associated with this video. In any case, at the very least, this should illustrate the danger in smart Internet of Things devices, especially kids' toys. Even though this idea of being able to leave loving messages to your kids or even videos using some of these toys can be kind of attractive, you have to think about the privacy implications there if any of that data leaks. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.